And we want to update you on the toll this disease is taking. The latest report by the World Health Organization puts the number of confirmed and suspected Ebola cases at 9,216 in seven countries, with 4,555 deaths, the vast majority of them in Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia. Liberia has been hardest hit, with more than half the deaths occurring in that West African country. The virus has orphaned thousands of children, many of them treated as outcasts. And that is where one caring and courageous American woman comes in. We get her story tonight from NBC's Ann Thompson. Just 32 and so full of life. Thank you. New Jersey native Katie Myler is trying to stave off death in Liberia. People aren't just dying of Ebola here. I mean, they're dying of hopelessness. Um, they don't, they're isolated. They're ripped away from their families. It's probably got to be the worst way to die in the world. Here is West Point home to the poorest of the poor in the capital of Monrovia, and a growing number of orphans. Mercy and I are super close, and now she calls me, actually, she calls me mom, and um, her parents have died, her grandparents have died. Mercy, the oldest of six, is one of many children victimized twice by this disease. The community told her that she couldn't use the well to go and get water, that she couldn't use the coal to cook food. Um, so we were able to move them to a, a safer place. Myler told me about Perlina. Yes. This little three-year-old cute girl, like in a pink party dress, sitting on the steps of the ambulance. And it turned out she had just watched her mother die in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. The community refused to, to take care of her, you know, because they were afraid she had nowhere to go. Myler, who's worked in Liberia for nine years, is not afraid. She's tested negative for Ebola. The government's temporarily shut down schools, so Myler turned the girls' academy she opened last year into a haven for the kids. The guest house is a quarantine unit. You basically quarantine these kids with Disney movies and love <laughs> and ice cream. The library is a warehouse for medical supplies, but Myler knows there's only so much she and her team can do. This is the picture that's on your blog that I can't get out of my mind. It's of a young girl lying outside a holding center. Well, she was laying on a bench um, and just by herself, and she, well, I talked to her, tried talking to her, and uh, there she was too weak to say anything, but she was all alone, and I can't do anything about it. But I'm fighting with everything I can, and I can't. It's, it's definitely really hard. When are you coming home? <laughs> I am home, so. Uh, I'm home, and home is where your heart is, and my heart is right here. Trying to provide hope in a land of despair. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.